back to Drew Reeves now. He's taking us out to the coast where there is a bit of a breeze today. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, seven mile per hour winds, much calmer than those 20, mm -hmm. 30 mile per hour gusts we've been seeing uh, over the past couple days, though. And you can see we're starting to get the clouds breaking up a little bit here in Seaside on our Shiloh Inns camp. But that northern part of the coast has definitely been more cloudy today. We're now getting some more sunshine here in Portland as well. This is our Shriners Hospital camera. You can see uh, we've still got some high clouds, but we're getting that sunshine through there. Some spots still seeing those low clouds as well, and it's nice and sunny out at the mountain on our Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. 63 degrees there at the top. Uh, kind of hazy, but that's about it. So this weekend was a record-setting weekend. We reached 82 on Friday, tied the record, and then 87 Saturday, 86 degrees yesterday, really destroying those old records right around 80 degrees. And we've had 12 days so far in the 80s this October, which is uh, pretty wild. Our previous record six days, we destroyed that record as well. And I think we might add one more 80 degree day to this total before we're done uh, at the end of the month. It'll come up in the next couple of days. Today, though, it's going to be cooler. Uh, we're seeing mostly sunshine for the rest of the day today. Those high clouds kind of sticking around, though, into tomorrow. We'll see a few morning clouds to start the day as well, but then lots of sunshine. And Wednesday, seeing a mostly sunny day, maybe a few low clouds to start the day there, too. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be all sunshine Thursday morning. Starting to see some more of those clouds, but no rain so far this October. It's been extremely dry. We should be close to an inch and a half at this point. Uh, we were close to an inch last October, but it has been extremely dry. However, this is going to change. We do see some wet weather in our forecast, so it won't be tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday, but Friday, I think we'll be, gonna, we'll be turning wet into the uh, late afternoon, evening, sometime later in the day. We're going to be turning wet and then we'll see those showers continuing for Saturday. And it looks like several days we could be seeing these showers. So uh, not seeing anything uh, until Friday night at some point. And it looks like that evening could be a pretty wet one. This model showing uh, maybe a half an inch of rain or so. And then uh, for several days, we're going to see that rain building up. We could reach our average rainfall by the end of the month, most of it coming in about a week and a half. So it looks like we are about to turn quite wet. It's going to be a big change in our weather patterns because we've been seeing this high pressure th for most of the month so far. And we get that through the middle of the week where it's potentially going to be 80 degrees on Wednesday. Uh, again, that could be our 13th 80 degree day there starting to cool down on Thursday and then much cooler Friday and into the weekend. Uh, Friday, we'll see those showers arriving with temperatures only reaching maybe the mid to upper 60s and then Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be right around 60 degrees uh, again, looking fairly wet overnight lows cooling down into the mid 40s. So temperatures getting much closer to average, but much, much cooler than we have seen in quite some time. Kim.